Polite Proposals Crafting Offers with Wood Hello there, English learners. Welcome back to our Intermediate Grammar series. Today, we're going to focus on an essential part of English communication, making polite offers using the modal verb, would. By the end of this video, you'll be able to express offers in a way that sounds more natural and polite. So, let's get started. Would is a modal verb, and it's often used to talk about actions in hypothetical situations or to make polite offers and requests. Today, we're focusing on using would to form polite offers. It's important to note that would is a more formal or polite alternative to will. When it comes to making offers, the general structure is as follows. Would plus subject plus like plus noun or infinitive verb? For example, would you like a cup of tea? Or, would you like to join me for a movie? This structure is essentially asking if the other person wants something or if they want to do something, but in a polite and considerate way. Sometimes, we need to make more complex offers. In these cases, we can use a similar structure. I, we, he, she, it, they would plus be happy to plus verb. For instance, I would be happy to help you with your homework. Or, we would be happy to give you a tour of the city. This structure allows us to express an offer to do something for someone else, and it's a very polite way of offering help or assistance. Now, it's your turn to practice. Let's say you're offering your friend a ride home. Instead of saying, do you want a ride home? How could you make the offer using would? Remember the structures we've learned. Pause for a moment. That's right. You could say, would you like a ride home? Or, I would be happy to give you a ride home. See how using would makes the offer sound much more polite. Fantastic work today, everyone. Remember, using would to make offers can add a layer of politeness and formality to your English, which can be very useful in both professional and social situations. Keep practicing what we've learned today, and don't hesitate to make offers using would. As always, stay curious and keep learning. Until our next lesson, goodbye.